Hey, what's up YouTube? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today we have the Hubson X4 Desire Pro, and we're gonna check it out, so stay tuned. So I've known about Hubson for a number of years. Uh, they're one of those good drone manufacturers that seems to make a lot of drones in the mid-price range that people use and like. Uh, the Hubson X4, I believe, is a really popular drone. I've seen a lot of people who've had it, but it didn't have GPS built in, and it certainly didn't have um, waypoints or follow me. And so those are some extra things that this new version, the X4 Desire Pro, has, and I was kind of excited to check out. So we'll go ahead and open it up. It's got very nice packaging. They fly with our dreams, as you can see. Uh, it definitely feels heavier than a normal toy drone, and, and that's always a good sign to me. It means that it's got a little bit of heft and a little bit of uh, quality, meaning that there's a lot of electronics and stuff built into it. It's a cool looking little drone. I like the, I like the colors, I like the form factor. Uh, the camera's right here in the front. You can see it has a micro SD slot in the back. Um, it's got the place for the battery back here. Uh, I don't know if the battery's already in it. And hey, look at that. The battery is even a standard that it's just a standard battery, so uh, that's kind of nice. It's really skinny battery. It's a little uh, 2S 15C uh, 750 milliamp hour battery, um, which is quite a bit for such a skinny little battery, but it slots right in there, and it even has a USB slot, which I would think might be for uh, software upgrades, um, firmware upgrades, something like that. I don't know. We'll set it over here. We'll set the battery down. I have not charged this guy yet. I uh, don't know what's in this little box. We'll check it out. So here's something funny. This this box was actually empty. There is nothing in this box that I can see. Um, I'm not sure what the purpose was other than maybe it just kept the drone from sliding around. I don't know. Uh, let's open up this bit here. These are the prop guards and the instructions. We'll leave those there for the moment. And let's see what's over here. This looks like the battery charger and a little screwdriver and some spare props. Set those over here and we'll leave the battery charger out so we can get that going. And then here's our video game style controller which looks like it takes um, either AA or AAA batteries here in the back. So we'll need to put some uh, put a, some batteries in this guy and then of course I think this has a little um, thing that pops out for your phone and stretches up so yeah you can stretch this guy up to put your phone in there and uh, I like the controller it's kind of cool video game style uh, I see the power button and I see the Bluetooth button now what's interesting about this of course is the fact that it is a GPS drone and GPS drones are just so much easier to fly than uh, non GPS drones so let's go ahead and download the app it looks like they've included a little QR code here or if not I'll see if I can find it um, online uh, but I'll try the QR code first and we'll get the battery charging and then we'll take it for a little flight. All right so I'm here with my buddy Brad all the way from Virginia. Go Virginia. <laughs> uh, and we are about to fly the Hubson X4 Star Pro with GPS. Now as I mentioned when I did the unboxing the uh, X4 has been a popular Hubson for many years but what they've done on this one is added a pretty nice camera as well as GPS. However, I will say, uh, for all of you watching, if you have this drone, it's not an easy setup process. We had to read the instructions. I got them right here, which I never like to do, but we had to do it. Um, but we're gonna talk you through it real quick. So first of all, be sure you download the app, which there's a QR code in here. Um, Brad's phone was actually seeing the uh, Bluetooth as well as the Wi-Fi, um, but there's a double step process. You connect to the camera via Wi-Fi and you connect to the controller via Bluetooth. And the reason is because, as you mentioned, how, what's the range on Bluetooth? Uh, 30 feet. Yeah, oh. so Bluetooth does not have great range. So because your phone is sitting right here in this little controller, you're not gonna have an issue. Uh, however, with Wi-Fi, you get greater range for the camera so you can get a live transmission. So I'm gonna show you real quick. Uh, first of all, connect via Wi-Fi, download the app, open the app, and when you do, you can see there's our, there's our uh, camera. All right, I think I'm rolling video on that thing right now. So if you just kind of wave it around a little bit. Yeah, oh yeah, little, it is rolling video. It's a little bright in that direction. Yeah. 
Okay, so in order to make all this work, what you have to do is hit the little gear in the upper right corner, and then you go to controller, and then you wouldn't know it by looking at this UI, but there's actually more options down here. So you scroll down, and when you do scroll down, you end up with using the remote control. You hit that button of using the remote control, and when you do, uh, it'll give you this Bluetooth setting. You hit connect, and you allow your phone to connect to the Bluetooth. It was a little hard for us to find, only because of the, um, only because it was kind of hidden down. Yeah. It, you know, it didn't look like the, there was no indication that there was more. Yeah. So now that we're connected, I'm going to go ahead and back out of this, and we're going to give it a flight. Brad's going to fly. So, so first of all, um, oh. let go of the stick and let's see how the GPS does. How, how does it feel? Like it's, it's holding in place? Seems like it's doing pretty good. And what would you say the wind is right now? 10 miles an hour? 10, 12 miles an hour. Okay, so that's not bad for a little guy in the wind. Nope. Alright, now if you want to just uh, zip it around over there and have some fun. Wind's got it a little bit. It's holding pretty good. Cool. To give you altitude, what's the um, what's the uh, telemetry like? Distance, altitude, 21, 22 meters. Okay, so about, meters. about uh, 60 yeah. feet. Yeah, about 60 feet. It seems feet. about right. Yeah, it's holding pretty good. A lot more wind up there, probably. Yeah. Yep, got hung up there a little bit. She zips around pretty good. That's full throttle right there. The wind's got it a little bit. Oh yeah, wind. Caught it. Right the space between us. All right. You had battery levels at 40%, it just notified us. Okay. Yep. Okay, so anything you see that looks like uh, Not sure different what. flight modes? There we go. Yep. A waypoint, follow. Oh, wow, orbit. orbit VR. Let's try that orbit. Okay. So, orbit, aircraft, about enter orbit mode is better aircraft fly minimum height of three meters orbit the radius should be five meters please make sure there's no obstacle all right so okay. let's actually walk out to the middle of this field okay. so then go ahead and uh where'd you find the orbit thing uh here i gotta get it up in the air first okay um then once it's in the air you do that yeah chop uh -oh. some grass yep all right so i said at least three all right so here we go Let's see, GPS, looks like it's got a lock on 11 satellites. Let's do the orbit, the distance between you and the aircraft. Let me try that again. You may be too close. Yeah. You may have to actually it's back too the too small to orbit. Air, back the aircraft away from you a little bit, which is down stick. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now try it. Yeah, try right it there. there. Orbit, yep, here we go. And, okay. Battery level is only forty percent. I don't know if that. It's 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 orbiting, but it's not orbiting around us. No. <laughs> it's orbiting around uh, space about fifteen feet from us, probably. <laughs> right. But you're not controlling it right now, no, right? No, not it's touching. It's doing that on its own. Not touching it. Okay. Well, it's, it is orbiting, so I think that's just a matter of setting it properly, like setting the home point properly. Right. Video looks pretty good.
from what I can tell. Yeah, I'm curious to see how that looks. Picking us up slightly. It is orbiting. I'm doing a pretty good job. Yeah, yeah. It's it's going in a circle. I mean, if... Video's a little bouncy, but the wind doing a little bit of that. Well, there's no gimbal. And there's right. probably no digital stabilization either. I don't think. All right. Well, we've proven that orbit works. Uh, one less, let's go ahead and uh, stop that video. And then let's bring it back over here one more time. Yeah. Follow me, VR. Nothing else on that. You want to try to follow me real quick? Can. Uh, where is, oh wait, follow, following mm -hmm. mode. Mm -hmm. So following function, please fly the air, at the height of three meters. Maintain a distance from humans. Do not activate this function in a compact space. Uh, Okay, so if we hit OK, is it going to follow us? Yeah, OK. Nope. Nope. There's nothing in, so... Let's see if it follows you. Oh! Wait a minute. Are you doing that, or is that doing it? No? It's trying to do something. I'm not doing that. <laughs> well, why don't you bring it back? All right. All right, what's your battery at? Uh, 21%. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can land it in my hand. Coming down. Ooh. Oh, right. it's not, it wants, it's coming, it's going to return to home. Oh, oh yep. okay. Can you override that? Um, yeah, let's see. Yep, cancel return. Got okay. it. And now, come back down. Oh, no, it's not doing that. Yeah, it's coming. Oh, there it goes. It must come to. It must have hit 20% on the battery. Huh? It did. It's doing this on its own. Back to Earth. And there we go. All right, Brad. So we just flew the X4 Desire. It's kind of a silly name for a drone, but uh, the X4 Desire, Hubson from Hubson. What do you think? Flies pretty well. Uh, a little windy out here, 10, 12 mile an hour, but seemed to hold its own. Yeah, yeah, I thought it did pretty well with the GPS. Um, we did try the orbit mode, and it did orbit, sort of. Sort of. Uh, but it didn't orbit around us, but that could be user error, right? right it was right. our first time trying it. Um, also, in terms of the setup for this thing, it's kind of complicated. Yep, two there, steps. There's a few steps you got to take. Read the instructions. You know, we, we finally did, and that seemed to help. Um, it, what about just the joy of flying it? What'd you think? Yeah, it seemed to move pretty good. Um, I liked moving it around, and uh, it was reacting pretty well considering the wind. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, I thought it. I thought it looked like, especially when you were zooming past me a couple times, it seemed like it was moving pretty well. Uh, it does seem to hold pretty well. Uh, the orbit part, again, I think if we tried it a few times, we could maybe get it down, but it's not going to be like the same kind of orbit you're going to get from a higher end drone. But for a little toy drone like this, not too bad. Okay. We did try the follow me mode as well, which was a total fail, but um, I would say a total partial fail. But um, it, it's probably another thing that we would need to practice and learn how to do, right. as well as the waypoints is something else. Um, those are all things for another video. But overall, I like this little guy. I think it's going to be fun for someone who's never flown a drone to give it to him. Absolutely. And, and you know why? The biggest difference between this and most toys? It's because it's, gonna, it's got the GPS hold. That's right. Uh, <laughs> when, you, when, you hand a, when you hand a toy drone to somebody that's never flown before and it doesn't have GPS and they start freaking out, uh, letting go of the stick doesn't help. No, no. But with this one, if a kid is flying it or whoever is flying it and having a hard time, they can just let go of the stick. It'll stay right in place and you can kind of instruct them from there. Absolutely. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see the pricing and where to buy the Hubson, uh, check out the link below. And if you want to know more about drones and see more of Brad, because this guy's good, uh, <laughs> who should they subscribe to? Ready, set, drone. Take care.